Michael. Game, between that game was going, how important to get the first goal and get something going? Well, I thought, I thought you know, more than anything, if you get a goal or not, uh, I just thought we started better today. Just had a little more focus, we had a little more detail. We, we just played the game the way the game had to be played. And, uh, we had some glorious chances. I mean, Rad, uh, Rad set up uh, you know, a couple guys right in the slot there. Borky had a great, uh, a great chance uh, off of uh, Kostich and Andre set him up. So just couldn't find the back of that. I thought Pavlov was really good. He made some outstanding saves tonight, especially uh, you know, when we had a little bit of lead, you know, that's what good goaltenders do, and uh, Pavlik's uh, obviously one of the uh, one of the good ones in the league. You know, we talked yesterday about why Bork is in the lineup and staying in the lineup tonight, just to illustrate. Yeah, you know, Borky, you know, you know, it, you know you, there, there's stats and then there's, you know, substance uh, in, in, in stats. And, you know, you, you look at the commitment on the block shot by, by Borky at an important time. I mean, that's playoff commitment. And that's why he's in the lineup, and that's why you know he's he's moved ahead of some some guys in the lineup, and and um, you know those are the things that happen. He had Kleiner big big block, uh, Pex made a great save when it was um, you know in the first period, and you know that, that sort of Pex made the save, and Kleiner threw himself in the net, and they, they put it off off of Kleiner, and that's what you need. I mean, you need those those intangibles. I thought for the most part we really uh, you know. We didn't give up a, a whole lot of chances, and when we did, they were pretty well on the outside. Um, Pex will save most of those, and I thought we just did a good job managing the game much, much better. Obviously, when it was two-one, and it, you know we got a little tight, and we, you know, we were losing some face-offs, and when we, when we did, we didn't execute getting them out, just being a little firmer. But other than that, um, you know, I thought Winnipeg checked really well. Uh, they've been on a really good roll in terms of the commitment. They had a great win last night, and uh, you see why you know they, they're, they're well well structured with with Claude, uh, and they've got some emerging players uh, that I you know we don't get to see a lot of Blake Wheeler, but he's really come on as a as a top player. He was I was impressed with uh, with Wheeler for for them, and um, I thought tonight we we managed the game pretty well. There's a lot of good good things on it. Yeah. In our, in our game. Alice Shuck, um, what, what was sort of your take on him? It seems like every time he gets scratched, he comes back and <laughs> tries to prevent you from scratching. Yeah, that's probably again. why I scratch him, because I don't have to score every time I come back in. Um, Hallie's one of those those guys that, you know, I, I probably don't give him enough, um, you know, enough to do, in, you know, on how important he is to our team. Uh, Hallie's one of those guys, it's, it's about the team, it's never about Hallie. And he just goes out and works. And you know, you, you, you wonder why guys have success. You know, when when things, he just you know, his foundation is a, is a very strong, diligent work ethic. You know, uh, and that's why I think he just has success every time he, he's in and out of the lineup. Other guys, you know, that are, you know, sometimes when, when they're scratched, they you know, they're working on their you know stick handling or shot or something like that. And and then probably all it is is most times coaches scratch guys because of two things: work ethic and detail. And you know, he's the guy that has a work ethic in detail. And that's why he's in the, he gets in the lineup. But he's sort of that jack of all trades that you uh, um, you really appreciate as a coach. Two two falling short and some work ethic and detail lately. Well, I think is uh, you know the, in 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 work ethic he's been okay. And um, you know it's it's more the detail. And with, with Toots, I just felt that you know I got to get Toots is pretty important to us. That's one thing you know he always has been, but. He, he's got some growth in it, still in his game where, you know, I, I think he can have a little more of that. I know it was a, a little bit of a, a tough scratch for him and, and, and for me, but at the same time, um, I think that our message is you have to have, you know, our, your game in order if you're going to be in a lineup. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of teams have lots to offer, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about them. I just think sometimes you have to, you know, put the lineup in that you feel it is going to give you the best chance tonight. And, uh, and uh, you know, Hallie's been scratched too many times for me for being good, you know, and uh, being convenient that uh, I take him out, so. You, uh, Bradelov got a lot of ice time tonight. You feeling pretty comfortable with him pretty oh, quickly yeah. then? Yeah, he made, I mean, he'll you know, play on even the Halistrex goal. I mean, that was, that was pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? I mean, he's got great, Great vision, he's got great hands, and you know, he, you know, some of the things he did, uh, he 
created a lot of chances, and that's what he, what what Rad does. But he still is, he's really good defensively too, which you know he manages the game uh, way better uh, than he did four years ago, and that's the maturity of of just time and understanding the game. And I, I I'm excited. I know the guys are excited that as as we go along here, Rad's you know continue to be more comfortable and and and, and, and do his thing. So I think that's uh, that was a real step forward for press and is, you know, he's getting in, you know, game shape. Uh, you got to remember he hasn't played for you know, four years over here, and um, and the game's a lot different, and he's, he's fine. Do you, you're not at all concerned about a quick turnaround for him tomorrow, then? Um, no, not really. He, he seems to you know, thrive on the ice time. We'll just manage it as we, we, we have to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, was, I, was, I thought he had a real strong game. I thought, uh, uh, you know, Andre Kostichin had a real strong game. Uh, what I liked about Andre is, is you know, he's such a strong man, but he just, you know, he, he was really efficient when he, when he was in the corners on battles and he made a couple of plays. And you know, the only thing, I, you know, right now I'd like for Andre is to hit the net a little bit more. Uh, he's trying, to, I think, a little hard to just be a little bit too fine. But, uh, you know, I thought he had a real strong game. I thought uh, Borky and Spalls had a little bit of a strong line. Um, and it wasn't too to uh, disappoint him a lot of guys. Bork sort of driving whatever line he's on right now? Yeah, Borky, Borky brings it. You know, uh, he'll he'll make the, uh, the odd mistake. I, I thought after, uh, uh, you know, he blocked the shot there, he had a couple of times on the wall, he got a little bit, um, I'll say, he didn't have enough poise and, and just chipped the puck to know and he really had some time and space. So, um, but that'll come with, with, with experience and, and that. But, you know, when, when he works so hard and you're, you're so driven, then, you know, he, those players, you can you can overlook a little bit of a mistake here and there. It's when you're not working and you make those mistakes, those are those are, 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 are things that drive you crazy. Is there any sort of worry with Gostad in the face-off circle coming off the injury? And, I mean, obviously he went 60%. I mean, yeah. he probably a late Yeah, I, he, yeah I, he, uh, he went in a little bit of spurts, you know, usually with, with Goose. Um, what I've noticed is that uh, he's he's usually pretty consistent. Today he was a little sporadic. He'd win four or five in a row and he'd lose three in a row. Just, uh, but that's that's maybe just rust. And uh, you know, I, one thing that Wellwood did, um, you know, when he went against Wellwood, Wellwood, Wellwood slides his foot in there and you can't get your stick in there. And it's pretty effective. Ryan Bonk used to do it a lot, but uh, Wellwood did a good job on that. Based on what we've seen from uh, Ragloff so far, would you say he's a game breaker? Uh, did you say he's a game breaker? <laughs> how, how did you like the, uh, the defensive effort compared to the last couple of games? Yeah, way better, way, way more detail. You know, the game like said, the game demands that you play a certain way. Really, what what we've been harping on in the last couple of days is that just because we've added people in the lineup doesn't mean we change our game. You know, there's certain foundations in, in, in your game that you have to play with. You have to manage the puck and manage the situation and and play it correctly. And then with us being maybe a little deeper, adding people who have a little more of that, that offensive skill level, if you just play the game correctly, you'll end up with a puck more. You will have the game in order more and in control more. And if the team starts deviating away from what they do, you're going to get some chances, and uh, I thought we did a better job of that. And tonight, I thought Winnipeg played—they they played a really strong checking game, and uh, and we still had some glorious chances. But at the same time, they, they hung around. Pavlik allowed them to, to to hang around, and, and at the end, it get a little, little tense at times. But I, I thought we were more comfortable in a, in, a, in a tight game, which is sort of the Preds' way. We we're okay when it's, when it's in a close game. I thought we, we were pretty calm with that. Barry, I think you kind of answered this with that, but for years your reputation has been the coach who makes a lot out of maybe a not a really talented roster. Do you coach differently now that there is more talent here? Uh, in certain aspects you do, because you could probably be a little more creative in some of the things that you do, but some of the, the, the foundations uh, defensively you have to have that. I, I don't think you can can deviate away from that um, because of the fact that you know, as I say, you know, when you when you have a capable when you're capable of scoring, you can win games because you have some, you're able to 
have some offense. But if you're going to win playoff rounds and championships and stuff like that, it's going to be the defense is going to be your foundation, and the offense is going to piggyback on that because you're going to defend well. And because you defend well, you're going to get opportunities, and those opportunities you're going to capitalize on. And that's where we have to get. I thought we got away from the balance a little bit in the last uh, a little while, and then this diligence and, and work ethic we got away from that because we, you know, you know we're, we were a deeper team. You, know, you, know, you, you just you have to work the same. You have to have the same foundations, and then you have to just manage the game the way the, the game demands. And, and the situation depends, and if you do that, we'll be, we'll be able to you know, do what we, we need to do. How big was that early double save? You've gone down the last couple of games early, and then Pax and Kleiner. Yeah, well, I thought that was huge. I mean, yeah, that, that was really good, because, you know, at that point in time, I think uh, they only had, like, three shots in the first 12 minutes or so, and then all of a sudden they had that quick flurry, and, and uh, Pax responded, and, and Kleiner helped them out there, and uh, I thought that was, that, was, that was huge for us. I mean, because I thought we had some really glorious chances, and you're know, wondering, okay, are we going to get a get a goal here? But you have to be patient sometimes. You know, you're, you're, I thought like Pavlik was was huge for the play. So you get to play.